Well, uh, attacks on our websites, yes, we reported, but we are ahead of them. We are well mitigated because we are the legitimate government, so to speak. So we can't feel how to deal with them. So, yes, they keep attacking, but they cannot penetrate us. Yes. The demonstrations will be on Wednesday. We have said it will be one day on Wednesday. From 6 o'clock to 6 o'clock. Well, well, thank you, uh, Steve Leto. Um, it was reported that um, a, ambassadors, actually four of them, the American ambassador, Meg Whitman, the British charge, and the Danish ambassador, as well as the representative of the United Nations community in Nairobi, and in fact, the UN offices, the very high ranking, um, came over to my residence. And uh, we agreed we will not, at this stage, address the media. Of course, they're all very concerned. Not just them as ambassadors, but the international community. The story of peaceful demonstrations turned violent by the police. Um, I've received international visibility. On CNN, I personally watched some of these presentations on BBC, on Al Jazeera. We hope, by the way, to be able to meet with the international, some of these international correspondents in the next few days. And so everybody is concerned. And so, Steve, I hope I've answered your question, but we are saying, what sense does it make uh, to meet with people who are already committing acts of genocide? I was foreign minister in 1994 when genocide happened in our neighboring, in our sisterly state of Rwanda. We pray to God that this does not happen to our country. So it behoves all of us to take note of what is going on here. We also thank the African Union, uh, the AU Commission on Human and People's Rights for their statement. How do you tear gas 53 children and make them develop highly cases of asthma and other complications. These are basic rights and you cannot negotiate on people's basic rights. Basic rights are basic human rights. And so that is where we are. I don't know if there's another question. Thank you. No, you must always take into consideration um, the reality of the situation on the ground. We realize that um, after day one on Wednesday, a lot of people were arrested, others were injured, and people had to run all of our hospitals and, and places to check on their loved ones. So we therefore have reached the con conclusion, peaceful, and we stress, by the way, peaceful and armed demonstrations. We call on our people to remain vigilant on that core. However much you feel provoked, don't harm any policeman. Leave it to them to harm you. The world is watching. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, yes. Yes, <laughs> yes. Inoro.